There he is. Salty and dead. It's, uh, it's a good look, that one. Who is that? That's the owner. But there is a party going on in that one's pants. Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the marriage counselling mission in Grand Theft Auto 5. This is where GTA 5's Michael and Franklin have a um, disagreement with Madraza. But before that, Michael discovers that Amanda and the tennis coach are probably just a little too friendly. So what we're going to do this time around is drive up to the tennis coach's house and see if there's another way for us to take him out without having to destroy the, the architect, architecturally significant mo uh, modern house that Madrazo has kindly built for his. I'm going to go with Mistress. So we're just seeing the scene unfold at the moment. Franklin's uh, just stepped in and we're about to resume control of Michael once we get going. He's clearly very upset. So we'll jump in the truck, go for a drive up to the mansion, but instead of going around the front and simply pulling the foundations out from, from under it, let's see if we can take out the tennis coach or maim him instead of destroying all of that property. All right, now we have done a bit of a walkthrough of this one before where we followed the storyline. I'll put a link up for that one. And also there is another YouTuber, uh, 0.4 Live, who's done a video on trying to stop the tennis coach from hitting his destination and seeing if we can save him or otherwise change the trajectory of this particular mission. Because this, like a number of other missions we've done in GTA's early mission set, is and this guy here, get out of the way. Is he just going to wait for us? No? Good. And um, yeah, the earlier missions in GTA 5 tend to be quite linear in the way they're, they're introduced and the way that they are performed. And if you deviate in any significant fashion, then it's game over, or mission over, I should say. We've explored this a few times, particularly in North Yankton, it was quite pronounced uh, in the very, very first heist that they did. With Trevor and, uh, and Brad. Brad, sadly, not necessarily faring terribly well in that one. All right, so instead of going down the alleyway, or down the dirt road there, uh, which you can see by the, the marker on the GPS down the bottom, we're going to approach the house from a different side. So this is the house that he's in. So I'm just going to pop a sniper rifle out and see what we can see. Choppers overhead, some workers there. There we go with gardeners. And let's head around. Let's see if we can get around the side of the house. Now, as you know, we run a vanilla installation of Grand Theft Auto. No mods, no tweaks, just bog standard. And that means that we don't have access to things like Noclip to be able to play with. All right, so let's see. Can we see him from where we are? Is he there? No, doesn't appear to be. We've got the exercise bike. Gee, the zoom on this is good. And a few other bits and pieces, a nice little telescope, but he's not on the top floor there. This is about to the bottom floor. I've only got a limited aspect from here, so it's very, very challenging to see if he's about the place. But, is that, can I duck down and get any further? Zoom in. I think, no. No, we're not gonna see him from this spot. So I can get around that to catch him away. Astro, that's it. Okay, there is, there's the decks and the microphone from a bit further on in the scene. You can see as he leans over for the, the next part of the shoot. Ah. All right, so can't see him from there. We don't need to creep anymore. 
and see if we can get in from the other side. So again, no mods, completely vanilla install, so I can't drop Michael anywhere. We can't change where he's at and what's going on. Where is he? Let's make sure we're not going over. I think there he is. In his fancy uh, leopard skin, no less, briefs. And still wearing socks, so he was in a hurry. Socks in bed, that's a, that's a good look, that one. And what I find... I don't know if you see what I'm saying here. But there is a party going on in that fellow's pants. And the rest of his body's, body's not invited. That is just stellar. He's also levitating. You look where the shadow is and his socks are. He's not actually touching the ground. That's brilliant. Okay, so what can we do? So let's see if we can just pop him in the noggin. So he's just done and that's it. No. No, we can't. Okay, so can't kill the tennis coach. Right. All right, well, let's get rolling again. Hmm, now that's interesting. We clipped that four wheel drive as it was pulling out of the driveway before, and that put us quite a bit behind the eight ball as far as catching up to our, uh, our coach went. And if you notice that really, really old vintage uh, Winnebago, or the, the old RV that pulled out there, pulled out well earlier than we would normally hit it. I'm guessing that's put there so that you cannot, you cannot get to the house before our tennis coach does. So that does the rest of the setup for us. That's clever. We'll test that in the next round. We'll see what happens. All right, pull in. What if, now we know where we can see him from. Let's go and get us a sniper rifle. Let's move down a bit further this time on the ground. So where is he? There he is. Part of his pants. Just well, he hasn't got boots to quake in, I suppose. You know what? Let's shoot him in the butt and see what happens. Well, we've got him. Dead. In the butt. I'm reminded of an old lethal weapon joke there. I'll see if I can find a link to him later. All right, and we'll just zip through this bit again and get back up to the coach. All right, coming up to where that four-wheel drive pulled out last time. There he is. And we're back on his pace, uh, back on the pace again this time, instead of it being a little bit behind where we clipped him last time around. So let's see if this RV pulls it. Yep, it does. It is designed to slow us right down. It's designed to, it's been put there. So did you see how quickly that pulled out? It was designed specifically to stop us from getting to the coach's house. And then back around, there's the house again. Who is that? Oh, that's the owner. That's the mistress. Oh, where did she go? I've not seen that before. Where's she going? Oh, she ain't happy. She ain't happy. Oh, and off she goes. We're gonna follow her. Car's locked in. She can't take the Porsche anywhere. Now, I can't leave Franklin too far because that will end the mission. Let's keep her in view. Where'd she go? She's off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Around we go, get out of the way, get out of the way. I'm gonna lose it. Get out of the way, you drongo. Nearly there. Now, will we lose it? Are we going to lose sight of it? I hope she hasn't unspawned. Uh, which way would she have gone? Because she was running. Oh, there she is. She's been cleaned up. Still running. Let's see where she gets off to. Oh, she ain't happy. I genuinely did not expect this in this video. She's off for a good old job. Obviously, it's a bit hard to get uphill, and she's running in heels, so that ain't real fast, but that's all good. 
Where is she going? She's just going for a trot. running back to the house. I don't know whether this is random or whether it's it's a thing, but it seems like she's heading back to the house. Those gardeners are still there. Not a care. Well that's her daily job done. Let's see if she turns right in here. Yep, back to the house, back to home base. Where's she going? She's off. And properly off. All right, we're going to lose Franklin if we. Uh... Well, that was entertaining. Where did she go? She's just down the bottom there. I wonder what happens if we take her out. Can I see her from here? There she is. Let's pop her and see what goes on. Eh? Three, two, one, and off. So he's just seen someone murdered. He's just seen his mistress murdered. Not a cracker. No hassles whatsoever. Yep. He couldn't give a damn. Alright, so anyway, back to our initial objective. Let's sneak back around here and see. I think I had a line of sight before to some lower extremities on his body, not just his backside. So let's see. Let's pop him in his floating ankle and see what goes on. Spooked. Well, that would spook him all right. Shot in the ankle. Try again. All right, so this time around we're gonna go down and I'm just gonna try and peg some of the glass, maybe spook him without actually clipping him. Wait, so how did he get up there? Sniper rifle. There we are. What's he done? He's bailed out there and he's, has he run up the hill? That's just silly. There he is. Can we get focus? There we are. Alright. There's our focus. And I'm going to pop him in the shoulder and see what happens. Well, he's gone down, he's certainly, no, well, apparently I killed him. One more, we'll see what happens. There's that other van, get out of the way, Drongo. Oh. Oh, let's see if, if we go down, if I can get a better angle on him somewhere. You know what, let's go up there with, on foot and see what happens. Rather than driving the car up. We get too far, because I'll lose Franklin. But a bit closer here. Should be able to get a better line. Just gonna shoot the glass this time and see if that freaks him out enough. Come on, let's focus in, shouldn't take where we are. And oof, no. Spooked. Alright, that's it, I'm pulling it. That's a fairly linear 
timeline there. We, we can't jump in and, and do something interesting or different to the coach to try and get around what they want us to do. They absolutely need us to destroy Madrazo's mansion to progress the story. It does lead to the jewelry heist, which leads to Michael getting on TV, or not Michael, sorry, the security guard getting on TV and, and Trevor finding him, so I suppose they need But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. If you like what you've seen, please leave a like below and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click that notification button so you know when we post new videos. Also, don't forget about our milestone competition. Just leave the hashtag in and comments below to enter and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.